We'll guide you through how to download and install and play Deceased Craft. If you find this useful then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all go and close off Minecraft and then what you want to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Chrome. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features, as you can see, one click install mod packs, so you can easily go and play mod packs like the Seascraft with your friends, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, so you can get the help anytime you need it and your server will always be online. Instant setup and so many other awesome benefits as well. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. But back to the video. So to go and get this East craft, we're gonna be using a mod launcher called CurseForge. So all you wanna do is go and type in CurseForge like so and come to curseforge.com. Now go to the top right and go and click on Get CurseForge app. Now scroll down and we can just go and click on Download Standalone like so. The download will then go and begin and then what you can do is come and close out of your web browser and you can open up your file explorer and go to your downloads. Here we are and here's the installer and then all you need to do is go and double click on it like so and then what you can do is choose the language in the bottom left and we can start going through it. There's the installation folder, make sure you agree to the terms of use and privacy policy, which I do, I've read them before and you then need to go and accept and install like that. Now all you need to do is go and wait, it may have to do some more downloads. After it's finished downloading, it will then go and start installing. Now it's important to note that Minecraft needs to already be installed on your system for this to work and you need to own it essentially. If you don't have it installed and you don't own it, you won't be able to go and do this. It's now gone and loaded and if I go over to the left, I can go and see the option for Minecraft and another game I have here called Power World. So yeah, games which you can use in CurseForge will appear here. If you don't see it, you can click on add a game and you can go and scan your computer for games or manually add a game. So then to go and get Deceased Craft in Minecraft, go and click on browse at the top here. It'll go and take a moment to load and you can then see mod packs here. There are so many to go and choose from. But at the top, you can click on search and type in Deceased Craft, just like so, and here it is. And what you can do is go and click on it. You can go and read some more information about it. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot to read about. And then you can come over to the right and go and click on install. And now what's gonna happen is, it's gonna start um, basically downloading and installing all of the mods that are required. CurseForge makes things super easily. So all you need to do is go and wait. It shouldn't take too long. Once it's finished installing, the install button will go and change to play. So you can go and click play there. And also if you then head to my mod packs in the top left here, you'll go and see that it's now been added here. I've got a few other packs here as I've installed them before. And then what you can do is go and click on play. Now what's going to happen is the Minecraft launcher is going to go and open. So it may have to go and do an update. Uh, just go and wait again. It's now going to launch. It went behind Curse Forge. So just watch out for that. And as you can see, we've now got Seascraft. We can go and click on play. And I have to understand the risks of playing with modded Minecraft. And now it's going to go and launch. Here we are. It's now just gone and loaded. And you're going to go and notice the different background here. And then what you can do is go and click on single player. And we can go and start by creating a new world. I'll just go and create a survival world and press on create new world and wait for it to load. I have noticed that it does take a little bit longer than usual for the world to load, but don't worry, just wait. And just like that, the world is now loaded and you're already gonna see the differences just in our hotbar. As you can see, probably a few things you didn't recognize and you've also got a few new objects as well, which is super cool. So yeah, you can go and get started, go and start exploring. You've got the little mini map in the top right, which is super useful and we can go and get playing. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you want to go and make a deceased craft server, then we're making a full guide on that, which should hopefully be out by now, which you can go and check out so you can go and start playing with your friends. But you can always go and check out Apex Hosting right now as well. They're my go-to host, as I said, and there's a link in the pinned comment and the description. 